love it when you send in questions, and the most common question is this one. What kind of music is okay for me to listen to? Interesting question, isn't it? What kind of music can I listen to and it's okay with God? You know, God is a creator of music, all kinds of music, and music really celebrates a variety of things. Sometimes people say, well, you shouldn't listen to anything that doesn't have the word Jesus in it. Well, that narrows the playing field, doesn't it? Other people say, well, you shouldn't listen to anything that's satanic. Probably a good idea. But what about all of that middle ground there? Well, that's up to you. You know, I think when we go through life, we make a lot of choices. Now, music is a very strong part of our lives, very strong. But there are other parts of it that are pretty strong, too. The same people that are so careful about the music they listen to watch any kind of movie that they want to, and they have friends that definitely steer them in the wrong direction. So I guess the question is, what kind of people should you listen to? What kind of movies should you go to? What kind of music should you listen to? Etc., etc. And you know, the... The bottom line really is, wow, that's a little overwhelming. <laughs> You'd almost have to live as a hermit and have no sound. What's the answer here? Well, folks, an amazing thing happens when you fall in love with Jesus. Amazing. When you fall in love with him, things change. Your desires change. And you know, those people that say, well, you, should you do this, should you do that? Well, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas disappear. It becomes, I don't want to do that. I don't desire to do that. The things that feed my heart because I'm in love with him have changed. If I'm asking these questions about how much can I do and get away with it, then I don't understand the whole premise of Christianity. You see, it's about a change, not from your mind, but from your heart. Your heart leads and your mind kind of follows. You know, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Yes, we're supposed to be motivated by correct things. But you see, the mind isn't enough until the heart gets involved. I can discipline myself to do things that I don't want to do. But until I have a desire in my heart to do them, chances are pretty great I'm going to fall back into it. So how do you change that? How do you begin to desire the right kind of music, movies, people, everything? Well, it's very simple. You fall in love with Jesus, and he changes you from the inside out. And rivers of living water will begin to flow from your innermost being. And what are they? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. I know we've talked about this a lot, but it's still the foundation. And that's the answer to all of these questions. Jesus, he's always the answer. But folks, your relationship with him will dictate what you listen to and what you do. God bless you. Have a great day.